16. James, 36 years of age now, and uh, well, he seems to have been around a long, long time, but uh, he showed a nice, uh, surprising return of form and a welcome return of form a couple of weeks or so ago. Him underway. Mike Hallett, what do you reckon? Has Ronnie mm -hmm. come out in time for this match? He's left it a little bit late to travel. Well, yeah, some players like to get here two or three days before, which most have, have done. But he might have had commitments at home here this afternoon. As you say, James Watson played very well in Newport a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I think he's going to give Ronnie a bit of a game here. James at three to one against. But James is very capable of winning here especially if he keeps knocking balls in like that. Certainly a good starter. And that was the Thailand Masters, and uh, Ronnie did James on his own territory on that occasion. So it's been a while since they've met. So James first in. He's one of the longest standing pros on the circuit now. James turned professional in 1989. Cannon there on the red to stay on the black. I think he's up for this match, James. He eventually went down to the inform Barry Hawkins in the quarterfinals of the Welsh. But he showed some welcome signs of his old form. on the black, but uh, that red didn't threaten the pocket. Down to number three in the provisional list, Ronnie. World ranked number one at the start of this season, but hasn't played as well this year as he did last so you know this tournament and the world championship left he's still got a chance of staying or retaining his number one spot but a bit to do got a kick there might come off at a different angle than he intended Eight. yeah Stephen Hendry at turn number one now and John Higgins up to number two Hoping that there will be evidence of that here this week. One up. Another one from James hitting exactly the same spot. Yeah, not his favourite pocket at the moment. Thank you. 
what's up between the hotel and the venue. <laughs> Good shot. Good cut on the blue. It's not bad now. He's pushed the red towards the uh, corner pocket. Still early doors in this match, getting used to the conditions, of course. One. Yes, well, James, of course, has been a good entertainer over the years. He's had three maximums in his career. And there aren't many people who can boast that. Seven. Echelons of professional snooker in the early 90s, followed by Marco Fu from Hong Kong, and of course, most recently, playing Graham Dot in the last 16 matches tomorrow. Point lead. Okay. Decided to hold the spot there, leave himself on this red. And well, this and one more high value colour, if you can knock this in and get on to the black to the middle or the pink, would be enough to take this opening frame. Thank you, sir. Nice, good shot. I think he relished this match against Ronnie um, James, Mike, and he's, he's got the game, he's got the temperament. It just depends how strong Ronnie plays. So there you see, Ronnie requiring at least one snooker. And that makes it considerably more. I and mean, I don't think we'll see anything of Ronnie in this opening frame now. Well, fairly solid start then from the man from Thailand in this first frame. Okay, and he's playing the world's number one, but he's given notice he's not here to make up the numbers. Let's not forget, Ronnie has lost at the first time of asking in no fewer than four of the tournaments he's played in so far. One of those, admittedly, was the Pot Black Cup. 63. Yeah, it's not met for four years, these two, actually, in competition. Last one was 2002. Thailand Masters, which Ronnie won that one, 5-2. James looking 
to seek revenge. He started well. 72. He started very well. 78. So this for an 85 clearance. What a good way for James Wattenaar to start his attempt to beat the world number one, an 85 plus that. First round not completed yet. Good read by Ronnie. Perhaps he can do better here. He's going to split them. Oh, look at that. Pink full ball. And he's on the red to the corner Six. and the black goes. Well, he decided to take the more difficult. An opportunity for James to put a few points on the board here. James showed us in that opening frame with that clearance of 85. Uh, could easily be 2 0 in a few minutes' time. First came to prominence in 1988 when he won the world amateur title the year before turning pro. Yes, he's been as high as number three in the world. 37. Drove to the top sportsman back in Thailand a few years ago. Thirty-eight. Probably still is. <coughs> Mind you, I think uh, Shrikapan, the tennis player, he's got something to say about that. I would have thought. in the first here's another half century he's uh, looking in the groove James might need to play a little cannon here on the right hand red of the three to stay on something he's only got a 48 point lead if he can get enough action on the cue ball would like to hit the middle one of the three that would be perfect 
but just needs to dislodge these a little and then every chance to win the second frame. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Should make it 2-0 from here. That was a great shot. 61. Well, at three to one against, I think that was a little bit of value today in this form. the equation I don't think we're going to see any more of Ronnie in this second frame 77 I think Ronnie's got a big problem here what well, depends upon how motivated he is for this remember he only arrived here in China yesterday A lot of the players have been here since the start of the weekend. Climatizing. Eight, Eight hours different, you know, it's, it's all about the body clock as well, turning itself around. Well, that black means that he's now beaten the 85 clearance he got in the first frame. 91. Still one more chance, one more chance. Whoa, tough look. <laughs> well, 91. the 91, more than enough, of course, to win him the frame. And James will be delighted with the start that he has made here in China against the world number one. He'll be happy with his work so far. Good match practice, and of course he's still looking to secure his place in the top 32. Got back into the 32 this year, James, having been ever-present for some time, lost that place in... Good job. Yes, see a little tap on the table there from Ronnie. Swung the cue ball around, three cushions with side, perfect shot. 92. There is a path here, but he's got to avoid the reds on the right hand side. He's done that. It's very good. Going for this red here, James. The one there is the pink. Oh, it's very close. Now, has he left it? He has. Well, now then, Ronnie, that's a great chance to put something on the board. It's the black tied up there on the top. Well, it's not tied up, but it will be if he puts it back on its own spot. So, probably concentrate on the blue for the minute. Try and, well, 
try and move those reds away from the black spot if he can. Might have to take three or four blues first. But again, if he takes the pink, then that would tie it up on the black spot. So blue. F Well, he was hoping to split them and finish on the pink. That was unfortunate to snoop himself on it. A bit disappointed at that. He was hoping for a reasonable. Yes, Jamie came through very well against Tiang Ping Fei. Played well in that match, but we thought that uh, Alan McManus, and we knew that Alan McManus would be a completely different proposition. Well, to be honest, James has got away with that somewhat. That was close, so close. With a nice inviting. Frustrating at the moment for Ronnie, just can't get himself going. James Watanar is playing some cultured stuff here and there are danger signals already for Ronnie. Mm, flicking the yellow, but that's... Well, it's just taking a little bit of the speed off the cue ball. I think he was hoping to come another foot or so for the red near to the pink. Meantime, Stephen Maguire has equalised against Ricky Walden. Ricky had that 1-2-2 two, two in the opener. Stephen Maguire one, Ricky Walden one. Good recovery. Yeah, Stephen Maguire had to uh, clear to the black there to pinch that second frame. But that was an excellent red from James there. Now, can he get on this red near the pink? He's got the angle just to run through. No, he's played the stun run through, but uh, took his eye off the blue. Well, there's a red that goes here. What's well, is it? Good shot. So much more in evidence these days in Ronnie's game, the tactical side. Great break builder, we know that, but uh, he can mix it very well, as this man can as well. So this is uh, an exciting uh, game here. He's just left James, this one on the left-hand side. 
It's got to avoid the double kiss with this, though. It's got to be thin. There you go. Well, not too bad. Certainly he's, does. 3 0 down, and he's given himself quite a mountain to climb. These best of nines can very quickly slip away from you. Well, we know what he's like. Even if he went 4 0 down, he'd still fancy the job, wouldn't he? That's a clever shot from James. Ronnie will play off the same red. He's looking to develop one or two. Well, this red is on, but... He's got a few of those so far this afternoon. Well, this evening, I should say. Safety off the blue. Jake Watson, one. If he plays that one. Well, he's just playing this red near the black, just coming off cushion first, just to, to push it well off the top cushion just to lay on it has he hit it hard enough oh he's oh. missed that I can't believe that white has gone past that <laughs> red <laughs> neither can he how has he gone round that red he could play <laughs> that shot a hundred times and not do that again he might be snooking in a minute that was absolutely incredible <laughs> to not hit that red and look at the difference now. Well, if James could have had the white put back but chose to put it in behind the black. It was the previous shot that was amazing when Ronnie missed that red. I couldn't believe he's not hit it from there. That's to judge the side perfectly, which he has done. Well played. Escape. There is a red to the centre pocket here. Shot. Well, I'm sure Stephen Lee is watching this match with interest. He takes up the winner. 21. Done it slightly. A little bit of adrenaline pumping there, I suspect, Mike. He's, mm. he's on a roll. 
Might have the angle just to run into something here, though. But if not, I'll have to screw off the side cushion. Look at that. Oh, what a shot that is. Fantastic shot. 28. That deserves to win the frame. That's one of the finest shots I've seen so far this week. Thirty-nine. Well, perfect again. It's going to be three and nil. Fifty points the difference and fifty one on the table. So you can work it out for yourselves, I'm sure. Well, he's got one to the middle. This is a very solid performance here from James. Forty-three and the frame. So Ronnie O'Sullivan is under a lot of pressure here against James Watanar. In these situations, haven't we, Mike? Here's another one. Yes, yeah, certainly. Like I said, even at 4-0, Ronnie would still fancy winning, but it would take him. Comes out, wins the first, makes it 3-2. Behind the green. Oh, good shot. I'm not sure if Ronnie can see anything of the pack there on the left hand side as we look. On that occasion, on the green. Side cushion, lots of left hand side into the side of the pack. Not too bad. Well played. Well, again, he knew he'd be clouded into things, but he committed himself on the pot and got it. Just, just want to push anything towards the right corner pocket. Oh, he didn't play that one. He played the red left of the pink on the thin side. A bit of check side. Missed it altogether. And has messed up. No, Ronnie. He's not settled into this match at all yet. Mm, I had J James down for that one. He's not missed many of those so far today. It's not going to your position. Ronnie knows he's going into something here. Must make sure the pot. Well played. Well, not perfectly on the pink. He's got the blue to the corner. One. Well, that's purely lack of table time. Not nice to say, but Ronnie arrived late, he might be going home early. Not 
That's not a great shot. Poor shot, perhaps this one does. Can go down for the blue. No. So that's a, a missed opportunity there. Good weight on the cue ball again, though. Well, he's just missed that fill. This could be odds against. Well played. <laughs> oh, look at that. Another day, he'd be perfectly on the green. More news of Ronnie, uh, Ricky, I should say, Ricky Walden against Stephen Maguire. The outsider has uh, gone 2 1 ahead of Stephen Maguire there. So Stephen's got quite a battle on his hands. As indeed Ronnie has here against James, even more so. I think he's going for this, you know. He's trying to cut this blue in. Well played. <laughs> now then, he still hasn't had a rub. <laughs> That's a wry smile on his face. If he just, he just missed that f the pink there on the way through, would he caught them perfectly? Difficult when the balls don't run for you. Well played. Look where he's finished. Oh, this is quite astonishing. Nothing going right for Ronnie at all. He's not even scored 40 points. Did yellow here? <laughs> Halfway down, he nominated oh. Brown. Pragmatic there, Mike. You know, it was then he can rebuild in the second half. Well, he's nominated Brown this time. Foul oh, and a miss. James Watson now four. Brown ball. This looks better. He's got the yellow this time. Oh. Well, the clapping, but obviously they realise that he didn't play the yellow, he played the brown. But it's just judging the side, the amount of side. Yellow ball. Yellow ball this time. Which means he'll probably hit the brown. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> well, this is, this is terrible. This really is terrible. I mean, it might seem funny, but it's not. This is a desperate situation for Ronnie. Yeah. Yellow ball, yeah? Yellow it is. Well, he's hit the brown again. Well, this is testing Ronnie's temperament. No. He'll be annoyed with himself that he's not playing it properly, actually. Yeah. Brown, ball. Brown ball this time. A big cheer if he gets this. Oh, he's got one back. <laughs> well, there you go. That's obviously what he was intending to do. But of course. What a shot. <laughs> James is laughing as well. Well, you don't often see any emotion on James's face, but even he couldn't resist a smile there. So after all that then, Ronnie did get a little touch of running. Not before time. Huge damage done. But that did sorely test Ronnie's patience. Well, getting back to potting, and he was a long way out there. And I think he's been a little lucky with those two down in ball again, but of course there's this red, much easier red, into the left corner. Well... Well, the crowd definitely trying to lift Ronnie here. One. Oh, he's gone the other way. 
It's gone away from them slightly. Look. If he was flying, there'd be no problem with this red. It's a lot more difficult. <laughs> well, as you've gathered, he missed it. So, another chance for James. Opportunity for James to put points on the board here. After that, very fairly straightforward miss into the left corner a moment or two ago. Another opportunity presenting itself. 14. 15. And those penalty points taking on a new importance now because the 20 points have given. James, a springboard upon which to build. 20. Meantime, Alan McManus has taken the lead against Jamie Cope. Two frames to one. Twenty-one. Another bit straight on the blue. Now we created the angle. Good shot. 26. Well, I suppose on reflection of the play, yes, 4-0 is possibly about right. Ronnie has had his chances in two or three of these frames. Admittedly, he hasn't had a lot of rub, a lot of running at the table, but uh, he's had good chances, hasn't put them away, and I think he could find himself 4-0 down at that mid-session interval. 32. Can you see that red right on one? <coughs> well, clearly, Mike, he feels that he can. This and a colour, possibly the green, would be enough. 33. Well, actually not. He still needs one more red, because this green will make it 49, and the 51 on the <coughs> table. Well, he knows Ronnie's not playing well, and uh, James has got more confident as the match has gone on. That was frame ball for a 4 mil interval lead. Forty-two. Oh, he's missed the red. Forty-two. Yeah, and, the frame. and the frame, so they go into their mid-session interval with a very one-sided scoreline. Not in favour of the world number one, as might have been expected, because James Watanar has compiled some very good contributions here, and Ronnie, when he has had opportunity, winning the remaining five on James. Oh, well, not sure that he played that, but fell. One. Unlucky not to get position. So just the one. Big in the meantime, one. this is James. Talk of Jamie. And Jamie Cope in particular, who's just had a 112 break at two apiece. Just a reminder, it's also all square between Stephen Maguire and Ricky Walden. Two apiece there. These are the last matches of this first round proper.
for a place in the last 16. That white looks a little bit close to the corner. Well, I think before the interval that might have gone in. But that's what it's all about. You take it while you get it. You get plenty against you. Take a full advantage. Cross double. Oh. Well, I don't think he intended that, but it's a bonus. Well, I would have liked to have added a little bit of an angle there to split the reds. I'm not quite sure what he's played on there. 25. Settle for the six points. Careless. Push the red to the corner. Okay, he's got the white near to that back cushion. The only saving grace would be if it's dead straight. Well, James got a lot to do here to get on a colour. This looks fairly straight. Does he have any angle at all to get the white back down the table? There was. And he cued it very well indeed. One. Mm. Well, after the Lord Mayor's show. There's what's in our one. Oh, the audience are doing their best to raise Ronnie as he comes to the table. Actually, you would have thought this was more James Watanar's home match. I know it's he's from Thailand and this is China, but uh, from Ronnie's point of view, it's a similar neck of the woods. Yes, yeah, probably James more adapted to this sort of environment with mobile phones and things going off more often than we see in the UK, of course, with a church-like scenario in the UK and uh, James has been brought up on this sort of this thing so perhaps being able to concentrate a little bit better than Ronnie 
But all the players coming here know what to expect. So, you know, and they certainly do enjoy coming to uh, to China, to Beijing. Our hosts are fantastic. They look after the players and officials superbly well. And the boys love coming here and uh, showing their talents. Now then, Ronnie, let's see what you can put together here. 14. I'll have to take the cue ball in and out of the bulk here. Well, has it come far enough for this red? Don't say he snookered himself on it. Well, the running has been quite incredible, really. If he doesn't touch the brown, it would be perfect. Might play this with a touch of left-hand side. We can just see the potting angle. Well played. <laughs> Needs to run a little bit more. It's OK. He's got the blue to the corner. Standard. We haven't seen one yet. No, I don't think we have, which is uh, unusual for Ronnie, but uh, he's obviously heard you, Mike. <laughs> you know, he might have ever done it. 25. I think he's ever done it for the position on the red. He has. Well, there was a lot of area to leave the white in there for that red. was nearly in behind the green. One frame at a time. That's all he can do. If he gets two frames, like he might fancy the job. Well, even at 4-2, James would still fancy himself to get that vital fifth that he needs. He's got a very good temperament, James always has had. Fairly good shot from there. This red on the right hand side of the table is a little bit of a tempter. Well, 4 0 up, yes, you can go for it. 4 0 down certainly won't. He did well to avoid the others there, and he's been fortunate not to leave Ronnie the shot at the red on the right hand side. Well, White's close to that corner pocket. Well, that's one on either side now. <laughs>
Uh, that's a pretty good shot from James. Just a little bit for Ronnie to see on the right hand side here. Excellent cue ball. to going in off there. I think he would have preferred the white going off and leave it down this end of the table. be the opportunity that James has been waiting for in this fifth frame. James has been playing, Mike. You'd fancy him to clear these for frame and match here. Absolutely. You won't get a better chance than this, and he knows it. 16. Different ball game if it was a young professional, a rookie 17. professional in this sort of situation, but not James. Bags of experience. He's been here many times before. Well, if he takes this one, 24. it'll only be the eighth time that Ronnie has ever been whitewashed in tournament play. The last time was when Graham Dot beat him 5-0 in the Malta Cup last season when Ronnie, well, to be blunt, didn't seem to want to know. And Graham took full advantage. Just thinking about the point situation at the top of the list as well, Mike. The seeded losers get half points here, 700 as against 1,400. So Stephen Hendry already through. John Higgins already through at the top of number one and two. Well, there is the all-important frame and match ball, Mike. Snooker's required, and I don't think Ronnie is going to be given any opportunity to go for them. Well, 42 the Four. difference. So that's four snookers required. This yellow goes in, it's all over anyway. I think Ronnie will be off in the hand. Great shot. Great performance from James Watterman. He's been very professional this afternoon. Or this evening, I should say. Apologies, I think it's the afternoon session. Well, Ronnie, you came, you saw, but you didn't conquer. And I'm sure the handshake will come, and indeed it does. And Ronnie O'Sullivan has suffered a 5-0 whitewash at the hands of the man from Bangkok, Thailand, James Watanar. James enjoying a resurgence in form. Remember, he got to the quarterfinals of the Welsh Open a week or two ago. Marching on, 